good, good morning. Um, earlier today we've heard that uh, it has been a long road from uh, uh, starting to think about cogeneration to, to where we are today. And uh, once the laptop is going, I would like to uh, share with you a few of the uh, snapshots, few pictures I've taken uh, throughout the, uh, the process of developing uh, this project at, uh, at Great Northern. The story with uh, Great Northern, from our perspective, started somewhere in the uh, spring or summer of 2005, which is the uh, uh, the first time I met with, uh, with Guido Venethoff and started to talk about cogeneration. Uh, essentially, at that time, uh, we, we had learned that the Ontario government had given a directive to the OPA to invest in uh, about a thousand megawatts of cogeneration and started to discuss what this could mean for, for Great Northern. So to give those ideas a bit more meat, we then decided to organize a uh, cogeneration study tour. Every year there's a uh, uh, annual greenhouse conference in Holland, the Horty Fair. And uh, we decided to organize a uh, visit of cogeneration systems uh, to those greenhouses in Ontario that would be interested in learning more about this exciting technology and application. Uh, so here is uh, some pictures of the first trip. Uh, both uh, Guido as well as uh, Darren Didichuk participated in this uh, trip. And this is uh, where we start to look at uh, plants that are almost identical to what uh, was built here in, uh, in Limington, or in Kingsville. The, uh, the, the next step was a little more complicated. It was in uh, December of uh, 2005 that uh, the request for proposals was, uh, uh, was issued. And at that time, we started to work with uh, as many as 20 of the large greenhouses in Ontario to try and guide them along in responding to this. Uh, to make a long story short, process was very complicated, required a lot of resources, legal, financial, and out of the 20 greenhouses that initially expressed interest in pursuing this, there's only one that was left standing, and that's Suave Hydroponics. So we're very proud to be part of the team that ended up uh, building it. And uh, after they were successful in uh, December of uh, 2006, is when uh, uh, we were awarded a contract for the supply and installation of the uh, cogeneration system here at, uh, at Swabe. A month later, the whole group traveled to Holland. We had installation contractor, we had an engineering firm, we had the group from Holland for the project kickoff meeting. And uh, as you can see, uh, large room, large meeting, but we also managed to uh, uh, fit in a uh, a bit of uh, pleasure with the uh, soccer game in, uh, in Amsterdam. It was actually uh, Ajax of Amsterdam playing against uh, Austria V and uh, Ajax won, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, the next step was the, uh, the witness test in uh, May of 2007. Uh, so again, uh, traveled to uh, Holland for another uh, project meeting and to the factory test and to the factory where he, uh, uh, saw the engines uh, for the first time, and here you can see uh, Guido and Darren standing beside one of the uh, four engines that uh, were in the test cell uh, at that time. Somewhere in spring, early summer of 2007, is when construction started. Here's some uh, pictures of the uh, of the building uh, under construction, as well as uh, the uh, engines that had arrived and the equipment being moved into uh, into the building. But then uh, in 2008, the uh, project was uh, completed. And then uh, uh, towards uh, the middle of 2008, uh, first uh, power being produced uh, into the grid and uh, commercial operation. 2009, it's showtime. We've had a lot of interest, a lot of dignitaries, uh, uh, Premier, Minister of Energy, Minister of Agriculture, local MPP, there have been a lot of people that have expressed interest in this installation and it, it, it's not just because of the importance for the greenhouse and the greenhouse industry, but it's also because it's important for the Ontario power mix and, and what more and more uh, 
people are starting to understand is that as Ontario starts to invest heavily in, in renewable power in order to facilitate the renewables, you need efficient, dispatchable, flexible power systems. And there is not a power generation system out there that is as efficient as a greenhouse cogeneration system. So what this can contribute, not only to the greenhouse industry, it's even more important to facilitate the transition from fossil fuel to renewables. So, so that is something, the message out there, this is what, what's important to, to actually help us get to the renewable fuel future. With this, I would say thank you. Thank you very much. I've met many wonderful people. We have a fantastic team to build a, it, it's a fantastic installation here. And I can't begin to say how proud I am to be, to have been part of this. Um, I would say special thanks to both Guido as well as Darren for having had the confidence in our team and our partners to, uh, to let us build this thing. It, uh, it's been a fantastic ride and I hope that there, there's going to be uh, many similar projects that we can, uh, can do together. Uh, with this I'd like to uh, ask Guido as well as uh, Darren, I, I lost track of various uh, two. Darren, could you both uh, come to the stage here for a moment? I'd like to present you with a little token of our appreciation and I say thank you. Representatives of Union Gas to the stage, please. <laughs> 